Hi guys, um, I'm really super excited because I finally have all my substrates in. Um, it's gonna let me take a really quick um, video of all the different substrates and you can see now the difference between the canvas, acrylic, metal, and wood. Um, I haven't been offering that for um, really a long time. I used to offer some acrylic, it was only to my VIP customers. Um, and I've offered paper prints before when we were doing um, the printing in-house, when we did everything um, in-house for paper prints, we did that, but we didn't offer framed options. So um, that's a new option as well. I'm really excited. Everything's here. I'm gonna go through everything uh, real quickly. And then if you have questions with anything, just um, let me know and we will um, help you just like we've always been helping you. Um, if you don't really know what substrate you think will look best, just um, email me, call me, and I'll walk you through everything. But uh, let's get started with the paper prints. And I'll start real quick to show you um, how the different um, substrates that I'm offering will look. This is the flat um paper print by flat I'm not it's not textured um, this is my work in it to win it and really happy with the quality of the paper print um, it's no texture and the difference between this and my watercolor paper and I'll explain to you what looks best on each um, on each paper but this is a larger larger version same print this is in a twin it, um, and this is on the watercolor paper, and you can see the divots in the paper. Why I like the watercolor paper um, for my abstract prints in particular is I, my style of abstract painting is extremely textured. So this, this watercolor paper with the little dimples in the paper, when you're looking at this, it, it looks it looks like an original painting. Um, I'll be hand embellishing some of these papers for one of the live um, upcoming art shows. And uh, it's fabulous because the texture really makes it look textured on the paper. So if you're looking at it, especially if you have it framed, hand embellished, you wouldn't be able to tell that it wasn't an original, but for a paperwork, um, the quality of this paper, uh, the textured watercolor paper is what you're gonna wanna order with my abstracts. Um, I think that the paper that I showed you before is the flat, um, it's a smooth fine art paper, watercolor papers, fine art paper too. This will look, um, this looks pretty good with um, some of my other works like, uh, that you don't need so much texture, so my collage works. Um, specifically like my dog works if you wanted them on a paper print as opposed to canvas this would be a really great option for you so it's two of the different um, paper prints with the, um, the uh, textured and the fine art smooth paper I also have um, this is smaller versions of the fine art smooth paper too um, and then this is the gloss paper. Usually the gloss paper is more for photography work, but I think this is really great. The gloss paper is really great also for my dogs um, and a lot of my collage and mixed media works too. The quality of these papers is super high, um, all fine art papers, and I'm, I'm real happy with all of them. Probably quickly I should mention too, um, my mystery art print giveaway ends tomorrow and I've been really bad about updating everybody um, about the end date. I mean, I've announced it that it was November 8th, but um, real quick, the mystery art print giveaway is for five art prints. Um, obviously, you don't know what they are because it's a mystery print giveaway, um, but it'll be five different um, mixed medias, abstracts, or um, cross and scripture. So you actually, the winner will actually get to choose which, um, which uh, category 
of works that they want their five prints to come from of my different styles. So that ends tomorrow. If you haven't registered yet, just go to um, Michelle Keck Art or Michelle Keck Art Prints. And I think there's a, um, maybe at the top of the page, it should still have the banner up there that says um, that you can register to enter to win. Um, just uh, click that link, it'll take you to a, a, a separate page and um, all you do, literally just enter your email address and once you enter your email address, you're entered to win. So that ends tomorrow, I do the drawing for that tomorrow. And uh, I just wanna show you quickly, um, I got three um, of the same works on three different substrates. Kind of thought that might give you the best idea. So this is the clear, um, this is the clear gloss metal. And I'll show you after we go through the different ones. But on the clear gloss metal, when you see that on my website and you're wondering like which option of metal you should choose, this one really shows a lot of the metal. So if you really want the metal look, um, you're gonna wanna choose the clear gloss metal. When I say that, I mean the silver of the metal actually coming through the work, that's the one you're gonna wanna choose. These are great. So happy with these. The quality is really great. Um, all of them will come with the hanging hardware. Everything's already installed and included and attached to the back. And what you, um, what you get when you get it out of the box is just like this. So it's ready to hang. And this one is the clear gloss metal. And I'll show you another metal option here soon, but I just wanted to show that the silver really shows through on that. The reason I wanted to do the same image was to show you the same work on different substrates. So this is my work resurgence on the canvas. And when you want um, this side, you can either do black, uh, black sides, white sides, or you can do a gallery wrap. So this is what a gallery wrap would be. It actually takes part of the image and then wraps it around. But um, these are wired and ready to hang as well. That's on the canvas. And so we showed you the metal, the canvas, and then this is the same art print on the wood, just a bigger version. And these are fabulous. Like the wood prints are really so good. Um, it's printed on maple and it comes with this hanging hardware already installed. So it's a, like a, a system where you're gonna put this on your wall. So this gets screwed to your wall. And then you're gonna put this right up against your wall. Oops, I'm totally doing that wrong. Sorry guys. So this is screwed to the wall. And then you just sit that right on top of there. Because the wood prints, they're healthy. These are not light. Um, for the wood prints, not everything is gonna be great on here. So. I like my collage. I like my scripture. So I got some samples of what the scripture and the cross art look like on the wood. I wouldn't do a lot of my poppy colors because it, it really does, um, it's more of a matte, kind of a, I don't wanna say drab, but it, it, it's just a real warm, uh, uh, warm and um, muted. Um, so anything, I think this looks fabulous on here. The, the original actually had, um, the original background of my collage actually kind of had this color, kind of the maple, so um, I think the wood prints are fabulous. Especially for, um, if you have a kind of a rustic decor and you're looking to have art for that, I, I suggest the wood prints. And I can walk you through all that too. Like. If you might see a design and you're like, well, I'm not really sure how this will look on wood, I'll give you my honest opinion of what I think um, looks the best on each substrate. But I think seeing it here in video is very helpful. This is my pug collage. So this little guy looks so great on here. The colors are fabulous. 
just dead true to the original. This, this original is actually with uh, Sigourney Weaver. She has the original um, pug collage of mine. She had requested it for a movie set that she was working on. Um, these acrylic panels stand off from your wall. So these little metal standoffs give it a really um, contemporary look. So it's hanging, it sets off from the wall. It's almost like it's floating off the wall. I love the acrylic prints. I think really all, all my work looks really good on here. I've seen samples of um, all my, like my abstracts. Um, my famous faces I do on the acrylic and I'll show you kind of that too. Um, I do that with another company as well for a limited edition of my uh, famous faces that turned out really great. Um, but I wanted to show the acrylic panels in case you're wondering. Anything really colorful and poppy, um, my abstracts look great on here too. So I can't complain. I just really did a fabulous job with these. And this is another metal print. And I want to explain each one of these too. So this is a larger one. It's going to come with a hanging hardware attached to the back too. This, this metal print is the white matte metal print. So the white is placed on the metal so you don't see that silver background um, peeking through. I think the silver would really look great on this work too, but I wanted to give you different examples to show you. So you have this one, it's matte, and I like the matte if you don't want that high gloss look. You don't want something that's really shiny. Um, if you're going for shiny, you're gonna want my other metal print. And if you don't want the silver showing through, you don't want silver showing through and you want shiny, you're gonna want the metal um, clear gloss, or that one's the metal clear gloss. You're gonna want the metal white gloss. So you have white matte, which is this, and white gloss. So the white gloss is gonna look like this, but with a shine over it. So that's the three different options for the metal. And just one more. Um, of the canvas, just to show you, this is a larger, one of the larger canvas samples that I got in. My, um, one of my collectors who actually owns the original of this work was um, here um, not too many days ago. And I had this propped up against the wall, knowing that she was coming and uh, she kind of stood there for a moment. She's like, wait a minute, you have another painting that's that's my painting. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, this is the, this is one of the G clay prints of it. So I showed it to her and it got her honest opinion and she loved it. Um, she said from even a short distance, like it was really hard to tell, um, between this and her original. So I think part of the reason that my, um, my G clay prints come out so well is we do a really fabulous job with the um, photography of my works because your your print is only ever gonna be as good as the photography um, done to take the image um, capture for that artwork. You get a poor um, image capture, you're just not gonna be happy. But we really take a lot of pride in um, the photographing of my works for these prints. So that's pretty much it. That's kind of gives you a good rundown on the canvas and the acrylic and the metal. I do have one more sample of the metal coming um, for the, I got the white matte and I got the, showed you the clear gloss. So it was a clear gloss, the Salvador Valley was on the white matte. Um, I have one more sample coming, it's not here yet. It is of the white gloss. I'll just show that in a separate video. And we have, um, I didn't get as much samples of the merchandise yet, but I'll do another video on the merchandise. Um, this is one of the pillows. And right now I don't have the pillows set up on website, um, but I'll be doing that shortly. A lot of artists will um, offer their merchandise without uh, fitting it to each product. And I'm not a big fan of that. So that's why it kind of takes me a little bit longer to do everything. I'm a little 
anal when it comes to stuff like that. But um, the tote bags are in, and this is my cash, my Johnny Cash collage. And I'm, I'm really excited about these bags. I've done this for a long time. I've done a lot of suppliers. Um, I've worked with a, a couple print on demand companies. I don't need to mention any names, but I've seen some really horrible products come out on tote bags that I just was not happy with and sent everything back and said, no way am I selling these, but I'm really proud of these. Um, they'll all come signed. I'll sign the inside of them um, in a white paint marker, but that just shows you the detail. These are fabulous for, um, I take them shopping. Um, I don't like to use the plastic bags, so I take these shopping with me a lot. And this is just to show one of my abstracts. This is from my Down the Rabbit Hole series. Um, but if you know my work and you've seen my work online, the colors um, are really spot on for these works. So I think that's really it. Um, again, the, um, the five print uh, free drawing ends tomorrow. I'll register at Michelle Keck Art or Michelle Keck Art Prints. You can still enter to win. Just uh, go to the site and at the top there should be a banner that says enter to win. I think it's up there. If not, email me, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's still up there. Um, just enter your email. That puts your name into the contest. I'll be drawing that tomorrow. And other than that, I think that's it for what I want to show for the substrates. If you have any questions, you can always just email me or call me and I'll walk you through. But I wanted you to see it in person because they really are fabulous. Um, I didn't get samples of anything that, that I wasn't, I mean, really tickled with. I think everything just looks great. So this is new for me to be offering on all these substrates. Just wanted to show like, I think my crosses <laughs> look stunning on the wood. Um, one of the publishers um, that sells my art uh, in different stores and that, they had done um, a special edition of my work on some wood prints that were framed. So I'm really happy to offer these because you can get these in any size and it's not just in the tiny sizes that I had previously offered them in. You can get these in, I think it's even uh, maybe a larger than, um, I think it goes to 50 inches. So the crosses I think look really magnificent on the wood. And the wood is on maple, hanging hardware on the back. One more little tiny one here. To show but again if you have questions like with what you think abstracts of mine especially my textured abstracts I love on the watercolor paper I'm thrilled I'm like seriously thrilled with the watercolor paper on prints and you think those framed um, you can get them matted and framed you can get just the paper print and have it framed um, there locally um, that's it that's it for now for the substrates um, if you have questions, just email me or phone me. I can walk you through everything. And um, I'm doing a live art show, I think in about 10 days. I haven't got the date down yet, but we're setting up the page for that. And if you want to participate in the live art show, you can watch me. I think I'm going to do it. I'm deciding between Instagram or Facebook. I'm not sure which one I'm going to run it through, but um, get on the newsletter and I'll let you know that, what the date will be. And that's it. So I hope to see you at the live art show. And if you have any questions, just give me an email. Thanks, guys.